Yes, everyone, and welcome back to Food Review Club. You might recognise where I am. Oh. Master Kebabs. Here in Gillingham. Iconic. Iconic spot. We've been here before. We wanted to come back and relive the joy, like document it the second time, because there's a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of things I want to talk about. Kebab lovers, the true kebab lovers, this, for, to, for us, this is not just a drunk, end of the evening piece of scran. We love kebabs. I think they're fantastic. And the, the standard of kebabs has gone through the roof, largely through places like this. So let's go inside, catch up with them, talk all things kebabs. Oh, wow, Callum, look. British Kebab Awards. All the awards down the side. Now, when, when we first started, so this is a, what's it, a couple of hours from where I live. We've got tons and tons of recommendations from people that I really respected in the food community about this place. As a kebab house, doing things very, very differently. And I think you'll see why in a minute. Let's go in and, and meet the team, but it's, it's not your regular kebab house. It's just not. Hello, my friend. Okay. How are you? It's nice to see you again. Nice Matt, this again. is Callum. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Hello, how are you? Nice nice how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you good? Nice to see you again. Thank you for having us again. Tell us about Master Kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Just pass <laughs> it on. Yeah. Um, so, 11 years, 11 years we've been open now. We've had shops in the earlier stages. Yeah. 30 years of experience. Oh, wow. Passed down from my dad. Most of the other shops were partnerships, this one we did alone, yep. um, and we did it better. So yeah, 11 years we've been in this location, and it's grown and grown and grown um, since then. We marinate everything in-house, we butcher everything in-house. The donut is basically 100% lamb, none of that soya or whatever that you've seen. The real stuff? Absolutely, all lamb. Uh, all the spices for them. We prepare in-house again. Well, you, you said when we arrived um, today, that today's meat day. Yeah. You, said, you said you've been here since seven o'clock this morning. Yes, we are, yes. yes. What, what does that involve? It involves, uh, well, we, what we do is one week chicken fillet day. Every Tuesday we do. And next week is the just on the lamb and the cold meat and the rest. Chicken wings and everything. So, it's so we'll turn every every fortnight. Yeah. Every so it'd be chicken one week, yeah. lamb one week, and then back to chicken again wow. the week after. Um, Could we have a look at some of these? Because the, the marinade, the marinade on that marinade is that the word Callum? Marinade. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, this looks fantastic. Yeah. It a, looks good enough to eat raw. That's it. Saying a lot. <laughs> that's a special marinade that. Can we have a look at? Yeah, of course. That my dad created. By trial and error. That looks like sort of silky it looks. Without giving you secrets away, what, what is on that? Se Secrets. Secrets, completely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I thought I was going with that, to be honest. Let me get, let me get a pen and a notepad. That could be years of work. Uh, yeah. A few spices and some oil. <laughs> and the lamb, can I see the lamb as well? This Again, it looks so rich. Lamb is an absolutely special recipe. You can, I don't think you, you said that like you were going to give me any sort of secrets. I didn't get anything out of the chicken, yeah. so I'm not going to even yeah. ask for that. Not, you're not getting what, any secrets for this. What's special, what's special, what's special more wow. about it is the way we eat, the way we marinate for ourselves. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. We do for customers. Yeah. So yeah. we wouldn't eat any less than this, if that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Um, again, now we've got additional ribs now on the menu. Again, is. Um, and um, of course the marination and the meat is one part but how you're cooking it and you obviously you can see over there Callum, maybe we can have a look in a bit if you're actually cooking some close up and personal, but having the coals, it's yeah, key, we, it's key, right? They're getting that smoky, powerful heat. That's right. We started in, I can say, in Kent. The first know. barbecue it was. The first barbecue kebab was shop in Kent. We tried it. We developed ourselves and... But everyone's doing it now, right? Everyone is yeah. doing it and copy, you know, copy and paste something like that. 
Okay. Of course, it's not exactly the same with other people doing it. It gives, yeah. it gives the meat an amazing flavour. So the cooking right? style on there. The thing is, it's not just cooking. Yeah. It has to complete with the packaging, serving, you know, marinade, and cooking, of course, and the, the service you give. Yeah. It's not just like, okay, I'll cook barbecue grill and then cook on the charcoal. That's it. It's not the best. It has to complete. There's, so. a, there's a timing. As to how much you, you cook it. That's why he's the so only it's one. Not, not overdone, yeah, gets he's overdone the only overdone. one that's on the grill. So with either him or my nephew. Um, but he's still the apprentice, right? <laughs> <laughs> I will always be the apprentice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this grill's been extended how many times now? Times? Really? Wow. And we could extend it if we could, but we don't have a lot of space left to go. So um, yeah, it gets filled up. On a weekend, on a Friday, Saturday. So, yeah. But look, this is, this is an award-winning shop, right? You, you, you guys are very decorated in the UK kebab scene. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. More. Oh wow! Look at this. I, I really love it when people have put their awards on the walls. I love that. Yeah. Now it means a lot because it means that you. Sorry, it shows a lot that you guys really care about what you're doing. It's nice to celebrate and be acknowledged as well. I think that's the main thing for us because we were working, we worked as hard as we did from day one to now. But it's nice to be acknowledged now. To, yeah, for sure. To get awards, to be, you know, seen, to be known, and the reputation grows. Yeah. So yeah. A lot of places around the UK don't have the luxury of you guys or a fantastic kebab shop. And a lot of places, are, are to a lot of people, a kebab is just a, something you have after end of a night out when you're drunk. And this is not the case. I think you should be very proud of what you've done here. And I, I, I think we should um, maybe order some food. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What yeah. would you recommend? I a think a bit of No. <laughs> I only fell over then, a burger. Oh my God. I might have driven all this way for a, a burger. Bit of <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we just want to have like chicken, lamb, the ribs, the wings, we'll kofta, donna, we'll some nice rice, yeah. plenty of nice salad. Look, oh, this is oh, just an, uh, a free for all. Show us what you've got. Yes. There we go. <laughs> we could get through to my mum, my dad for about seven, eight hours. Um, so it was, it was difficult. My sister was there, my nieces, my um, nieces' daughters. All my extended family live in Turkey. My aunts, uncles. Um, so they were all affected. I Most think they in that first week as well. No phone lines, not been able to communicate, yeah, no, the worry. That was hard here, but for them it was harder well, because it was freezing cold, it was minus four. Really? And then it was minus like 10, 14 at night. Um, yeah, it was, it was difficult for them. It was worse for them, no food, no water. He didn't, he didn't have a shower for about a week. He couldn't even wash his face for a week. I said to him, Dad, do you want me to send you down some clothes? Because my brother was going out. And he was like, I don't need clothes, I haven't washed my face for a week. So. Yeah, it was hard. Um, hey, obviously, we've just spoken off camera, but you said you lost quite a few family members. Yeah, we lost um, 27 relatives, uh, all in different areas of the earthquake. Um, close, like closest yeah. to us was my uncle and my aunt. Yeah. Um, my partner lost his nan, his uncle, his uh, uncle's uh, daughter-in-law. So, yeah, it was difficult to comprehend. But as I said, we did some fundraising. Lots of customers were, you know, great with that. They gave what they could. Um, we helped with water, food, we went out there for five, six weeks. Um, so yeah, I mean, life has to carry on somehow. And this, we have to keep, Yeah. it just circulates. So you can't, you know, you can't not be doing what you're doing. You can't close the shop and say, I'm going to take a week off agreement. It's, it's yeah, but I think like you'd that. have been quite a bit right under the circumstances, but it just shows your dedication, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible news. Well, from, from everyone watching that moment, love to everyone you know, that was affected and I can't even think about it. You know, some of the pictures that came out yeah. in the media were, well, that's the ones we saw that they were able to. That's just through photos yeah. and pictures. <laughs> just... you know? So the people that have lived it, yeah. um, it's, it was much more difficult. Yeah. I'm hoping it won't happen again and they'll, you know, they'll change things, but we'll see. We go through about two donors a day. And really? weekends, we, weekends, we go up to three. Wow. Well, um, that, all that size? Yes. Wow. Yeah, so we have one donor man. <laughs> And he will continuously carve from 12 when we open to 11. 
Yeah, it's making this look very easy. I've had a go at this before and it is so tough. Give it a go again. Maybe, maybe you could do it this time. Maybe I don't can. think so. <laughs> I, I, I'm, uh, I'm more suited to eating it and looking at it than actually maybe getting involved. Do. I know the other meat is going to be good, but bottom meat is my all time favourite. Okay. It's just the best. You know, it's, it's, there's so much of that fat, good donut, fat and flavour, the spices, with the salad, the pita, the chilli sauce, the garlic, I'm making myself aroused even talking about it. That is the one for me. And then you start bolting in this amazing lamb and the chicken and stuff. It just, it all adds the most amazing picture of a kebab. This that charcoal meat over there, that's the can one. We, oh, can, we, can we get close up to this yeah, meat? Callum, are you ready for this, people? You just made it back. How was it? Very hot. I don't know how they're behind there in this heat. Well, that's, that, that heat kind of is what brings the meat, to, the meat alive. Like. I know, I'd be naked if I was behind there. I'm not sure that'll get past health, health inspectors. Yeah, it definitely won't get five stars, really. <laughs> but um, there's an undeniable quality, an undeniable intent, and an unden undeniable want to be the best here. And I've something that I haven't seen before, like a family run business. No, they were losing family members overseas and they were still dedicated to the shop. Just incredible people. Incredible people, incredible food. And, and, uh, I'm really glad we've come back today. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Oh, my uh, God. Is that big enough? I don't think we've got enough meat. No, <laughs> there's always more. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what is this? This is called Ishlukofta, so you have minced meat, onions, yep. lots of herbs, parsley, in um, a bulgur that's been... Uh, broken down, so that's fried. That's like a boiled version. They're both absolutely lovely. Wow. This is called chikafte. Okay. This is special to where we're from. Adiyama. Come on, let's, here we go. So if you eat this, you're the best. This <laughs> is for special occasions. We only you make don't, this. You yeah. don't do this every time. And every day. Should we have some together? Of course. Okay. You go for Show me. Show Where's me. Where's the lemon? Hold on. Hold on. I feel like a, a blessing here. This is amazing. And we need to, obviously, we need the chips. We've got so much food. No, but we did need the chips, Callum. Even the chips for that. So you have to have it with lemon. No, no, no. Take, no, take, no. take, take this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then lemon. <laughs> what is it? It's a bit spicy. It's oh, um, it's spicy. Bulgur. Bulgur meat. Couscous. Couscous, tiny. We're gonna have some together? Yeah. Come on, let's do let's do it. Come in, come, come. Please. Come on, look at this. It's amazing. So this, this takes about two hours. Really? Because you do it with, you need it with your hand, like you do with the dough. Wow. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers mate. There we go. <laughs> wow. A bit spicy. That one. is magnificent. This is so much depth. This is special. <laughs> this is something special where you feel very big from. Wow. And not many people can actually make it or give that taste. Everyone can do it, but you have to have the right taste. That lemon, the heat's coming on now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <laughs> lemon is a key, a key ingredient. <clears throat> That's hot. <laughs> Drink. Oh, you got water. But delicious. And you can try this a bit later or now if you like. Oops. Yes, please. So I'll break it Let's up. do it. Wow, here we go. This again takes a couple of hours to make. Wow, look at that. It's about as authentic as it gets, right? Yeah, so it's homemade. The ladies have just made it for you. Wow, are they really? My sister in law. Really? Just made it, yeah. Oh my well god. So that's the fried version, but they also do the, the boiled version, which is the same filling, but you can taste the difference between the boiled and the fried. What an incredible flavour that is. It's got so much depth to it. It's yeah. not one dimensional at all, it's, it's got depth. It's very important the spices and everything else you put in there. The onions. And these are, are opened up by hand. So this would be like a, a, a ball. You have to open it, make it as thin as really? possible. 
Maybe the world, you could come and we'll do it together one day. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see that, guys? Let me know. This is the boiled version, right? Yeah. Completely different. Yeah. So a lot of people, different people have different preferences. Like I like it fried, my brother likes it boiled. But either I way. Like the, I like the texture here, but that's also softer and different in the palate. Yeah. Wow. Enjoy it, guys. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Is there anything else coming? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gents, this is, I told you, this is my favourite kebab shop. Um, and I've only been here once, and the moment I walked through the door, I knew. Speaking to them, feeling their energy, their passion, their love, it's undeniable. Um, and guess what? The food backs it up. Um, I think we should dive into, Callum. <clears throat> oh, let's have a uh, drink. You're gonna love that, by the way. You know, this high at water is my favourite water. I don't think it gets better. I love it, it's a profession. Why? I don't know. Ooh, the water is water, but Hyatt water. I don't know, I just like it. Reminds me of holiday. There we go. Drink watch, rest in peace. It's all water these days. Come on. Right, Callum, let's go. Um, first up, look at these chicken wings. Let's just dive into a few of these, shall we? Wow, look at that. You see the oil underneath? Nice crispy. crispy it's got wing. texture. You can see it's got texture. It's got that. Wow. Completely and utterly magnificent. Wow. These are big wings. Skin on, been scored to allow that heat into the meat. Um, great. We've got a lot to get through here. I don't want to rush it though, Callum. <laughs> we don't want to rush it, do we? Right, the highlight of the show last time, the lamb. That looks so good. It's, it looks like the marinade is now part of the meat. It isn't like an outer coating or an outer seasoning. It looks like it's been injected into every fiber. It looks like meat. the best marinated meat I've ever seen in my life. Oh, here we go. Wow, man. Oh, my God. It's good, right? Let me try a bit of this. That's the best lamb kebab I've ever had. These guys are sensational people. Wow. It's levels, mate. Even the don has got, like, flecks of red and green and stuff yeah, inside Yeah, for sure. It. I've never seen that before. Doesn't taste oily, heavy, lardy, you know, that sort of saturated fat. It just doesn't have that in it at all. It's dry, but in. It's not, like, there's no grease. There's no like, grease. It's not, I don't want to say dry, it's not, in a, not in a negative no, it's not connotation. Greasy it's just, and sloppy. Yeah, it's not oily with. Like, I can't believe there's no grease on that. That bit. Magnificent, brother. Can you, you, you've been on the journey camp, right? These guys, you can see the way they talk and they look at their food. The way they care about it, yeah. Even just their uniforms. Yeah. Just looks legit, you know Smart. what I mean? Like they take pride in what they do. Pride of their heritage too. These guys, these guys, as of so many other people in that region, this is a Turkey, but some of Syria was too, lost entire trees of their family. I'm not talking about individuals. That would be very sad in itself. They lost trees of families. Terrible time. These are, you know, great people. And I think it's important to talk about it. Chicken. Magnificent. <laughs> It's like eating chicken butter. Yeah, exactly. That chicken 
was sensational. It's got the biggest smile on its face. No. I'm lost for words. Like I said in my intro, bro, you wouldn't even think, why would you think, looking at this place from here, like, Kent is hiding a giant. It really is. I'm gonna make a little sort of wrap now. Um, I'm, just, I'm just really glad we've come back here. No, we, we, we haven't had a, a lot of good kebabs on the page for a while. And it's tough because on the page, the channel, we haven't had a lot of kebabs recently because not many of them are fitting up to the bill at the moment. But there's some great kebab shops that maybe have a good donna and the chicken. But ones that have got such a well-rounded package, a few and far between, and it's getting excited for average. We both struggle with. This is somewhere that I would come and eat non-stop. There we go, look. Let's put some salad in there before I get. Oh my god, you're pin salad. Yeah, here. let's put a cucumber. No. Oh. Going crazy. There we go. Come on. The uh, chili sauce, by the way, is romantically <clears throat> sort of rich with tomato in there and warm, flavoursome chilies that don't overpower your mouth. I've got a hint of mint in there. The this sauce, I don't know what to say. It's garlic mayo. It's more like a tzatziki garlic mayo sort. No, okay. Got vibe. It really is nothing better than a, a good kebab. It's got everything. It's never too expensive. Cooked over coals. You get that char, that smokiness to it. Just like a barbecue. Oh, and there's one thing we haven't tried. The lamb ribs. Oh, look at that texture. Lamb rib, famously, can be quite tough. Um, not many places do them. Oh, look. Did you just hear me say the word tough? <laughs> As it pulls off. Absolutely stunning. Um, excuse me, guys, I'm just in a moment. A few moments later. There we have it. Did it live up to the hype? I think it did, and more. And I think last time we came, we gave it a 9.9, .9, and today we've got the we've got the the family delicacy uh, on the table and some other bits and bobs. I feel like we've done it. We've done it right today. Should the 9.9 .9 stand, or should we upgrade him to a 10? What? I think. We didn't, we not recently gave another 10 out, so part of me is like, oh man, not another one, but. It's only one point though. Yeah, I know, but it's a big deal, right? It's a big leap. I think this is my favorite Kamau House. I think today they've done everything they possibly could to take themselves from where they were then. <clears throat> it was a fantastic UK elite, the best of the best kebab shop. Is this also a 10? I'm gonna sound like the rest of the content you have and dishing them out, but I think it's gotta be. This today has reached new heights. Masters Kebab, congratulations. You are now in a very, very, very elite club. Whoa. Even the police know all about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's content. Hearing about their family, <laughs> where, they've, where they've been, where they're going. I've loved it. These are the shops that we have a duty to celebrate. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed today's video at any point. Um, I certainly enjoyed being here. Callum and myself now are gonna get our scran on. Thanks everyone. See us big daddy B pubs and Matt on a mission. To find he's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavours, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?